My earliest library memory is probably growing up in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and there was this thing called the Georgia Book List, where librarians had chosen like the 20 best books for Georgia youth. And you could get prizes for how many books you read on the list. And I would come into the Hunter Street branch of the Atlanta Public Library faithfully as often as I could because I wanted to read all the books on the list and you know earn the affection of my local library. Because at the library, you could have all the books you wanted and not just the books on like the weekly reader list or that your teacher chose. Librarians were always a little bit more flexible than your teachers. Like librarians wanted you to be an outlaw reader in a way that your teachers didn't. So librarians were like the book pushers, I think. But I think that my favorite librarian probably would have to be Mrs. Wilcox, who was the librarian at my elementary school. She was like a, kind of like a subversive librarian in the Atlanta public schools. She was amazing. I'm really interested now in kind of archival things that can only be found at the, li at the library and often can only be found with the help of a librarian. So to cut the library's already lean budget, I, mean, I feel like the library does so much per dollar that to cut the budget, I think it's just ridiculous. I don't think books should be banned. And I definitely don't think they should be banned by libraries. I think that each library should have whatever books it wants to have in its collection. I believe the libraries are a local institution and they should reflect, you know, what each library wants. You should not have like standardized libraries with like don't fly lists for books. Silver Sparrow is my new novel which has just been published by Algonquin Books. It's, a, it's set in Atlanta and it's about a man who has two families, one public family and one secret family, and it's about the daughters of each family. I'm working on a new novel called Dear History that is about the uh, migration of African Americans from the South to the North, particularly in the 30s.